Today I was trying out two uh, types of pellets that I just got recently. Uh, I got the Hades in 177 caliber, and they are 10.34 grains, they say. And then uh, I got the Hots on Vortex Strike, and they say they are 9.25 grains. Both, I have two rifles in 177 caliber, both break barrels. One is the Crossman F4 uh, Nitro Piston 1, and the other one is the IGT Gas Piston. It's the Gamo Big Cat 1300, no longer manufactured. Um, I have a 3 to 9 by 32 uh, uh, Barska Scope from Walmart on here, and I have a generic uh, 3 to 9 by 40 with adjustable objective and eliminated reticle on the Crossman F4. Uh, I put an extra scope mount here a long time ago because uh, these scope mounts are nice, but they don't have a, a scope stop uh, screw in it. So I just put one there and then I put the scope rings right there and that holds it in place. It's been like that for a couple of years now. I put the rubber band on here. Kenny Cormody, he, he was suggesting that in some of his videos because the uh, uh, objective back here for um, focusing it goes loose so I put that there and keeps it in place really good um, the gamma says it's a one stage trigger I'm not really sure about the um, the uh, f4 but they both um, have uh, trigger adjustment screws and um, when I bought this refurbished I paid $59 for it, and it came with a, a replacement screw, which is longer than the normal one. I'm surprised Gamo missed that. Uh, I bought a few rifles from Gamo so far, and I've had four things wrong, which Gamo fixed three of them so far. We haven't uh, turned the other one in yet. It's a new purchase. Uh, on this one here, I put a replacement screw in for the trigger adjustment screw that Kenny Cormody recommended. So both triggers have uh, other screws in them, and that's the only change to the rifles. Um, so with these pellets, I shot uh, some warm-up shots, and then I put up these targets. And uh, this is the Hot Sun Vortex, and this is the Hades pellets. This is the Gamma Big Cat, and this is the Crossman F4. And um, with the Hot Sun Vortex pellets, the Gamma Big Cat on, on this group... Got one in a 13 16th inch group. Now, it did get some better groups uh, previously. Uh, the Crossman F4, it's got a 9 16th inch group. And this is on a windy day. It's today. It's windy outside. So I have a crosswind. As you can see, the some of the pellets are going up and to the left. Uh, on the JSP Hades, the um, Gamma Big Cat did better than the F4. It has a 1 inch group. Perfect, 25 yards. Couldn't ask much better. Um, the F4 also did better in some other groups, but for this one, it got a 1 and 3 16th inch group. So, um, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with all that. So, all in all, the Crossman shot better than the Gamma Big Cat by a little bit, if you compare the two groups of pellets against the other two groups of pellets. But both rifles shoot really good. They shoot about equal power. And uh, they're both about uh, equal pressure to break open. And um, they're both great. So that's it. The Gamo uh, Big Cat 1300 and the um, Crossman F4. So I paid 55 bucks for the for the Crossman F459 for the Gamma Big Cat. Um, the F4 was on a Christmas special a few years ago. And um, the uh, Big Cat was, a, was a, a refurbished deal on Midway. I like it.